Hello and welcome back. I'm Tony. This is Collector's Horde. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Marvel Legends Red Hulk figure. Uh, this is the Target exclusive that recently came out. It was announced at the New York Toy Fair and over the same weekend started showing up in, uh, on shelves and I managed to get one. So let's get going. Again, welcome back. And if it's your first time here, welcome and thanks for joining us. Also, please remember to like and subscribe down below. Also, hit the little bell icon to receive notifications of all my latest videos and content regarding figures, collectibles, and comics. As mentioned, here we have the Marvel Legends Red Hulk figure. This was a Target exclusive that was announced at the recent... Toy Fair 2020 in New York. They happened to hit the shelves of a couple of targets over the weekend. My target wasn't one of them, but we eventually got it and here it is. As you can see, when set next to a regular Marvel Legends, he's massive. And we'll do some more comparisons once he's outside of the box. He comes in a larger than normal size Marvel Legends packaging. It's still the black He's got the Hulk logo across the front, you know, which usually denotes which series the figures are from. Uh, in the background, you can see that he has the flames. It is also on the sides and back of the packaging art. The flames from his first comic appearance. Of course, the sides have the standard art uh, reversed on each side. Uh, on the back, of course, we have the Hulk figure himself with some flames and stuff in a, in a Hulkish pose. The blurb, you know, is a sentence really. General Thunderbolt Ross transforms into the Hulk, a creature he swore to destroy. So there's not much to the packaging, it's pretty standard. All right, let's get unboxing. Red Hulk comes with two sets of hands. One of them, they are both in fists, and in the other, they are both open grasping hands. Here he is side by side with the Black Panther figure from an earlier wave. As you can tell, he is massive he stands at least two inches higher than the regular figure that are six inches which you would expect from a hulk figure even next to a hulk figure the physique of the red hulk is far more impressive unfortunately this is the only hulk figure i have is the baf from the thor ragnarok series uh, height wise they definitely are very compatible as you can see I think that scale-wise, the Red Hulk works very well with the BAF Hulk figure. I don't have any other Hulk figures to compare them to, so I don't know if another Hulk might look more in scale with the Red Hulk. Either way, the Red Hulk is definitely to scale with the other 6-inch figures, as you can tell from the Black Panther figure. Scale-wise, the Red Hulk stands about half a head taller than the BAF Abomination but still is about the same height as the BAF Gladiator Hulk from Thor vs. Ragnarok. Aside from the head sculpt, I think the design for the Red Hulk figure fits the comic book really well. The head sculpt, I say, looks far too much like regular Hulk. They may have taken it from another Hulk. I can't really remember off the top of my head. But just looking at the physique of the design, they've over-exaggerated the muscles perfectly. They've got veins running through his biceps, his shoulders, forearms, veins popping out of his pectoral muscles. Even the musculature and design of his back fits perfectly with the rest of the figure. Now the head sculpt, like I said, I think it looks too much like the regular Bruce Banner Hulk. Uh, I think they could have done a little bit more to it. It does look like the Red Hulk, but I don't know, there's just something more to it. It's not to say it's a bad head sculpt. I mean, it looks really nice. I mean, they got a lot of detail with the frown, with all the uh, lines on his, with all the lines in his forehead and coming off of his nose and from the corners of his eyes and that mouth inside there, tongues, teeth. Paint job's not terrible either. I mean, there's a little bit overage, but. And that hair is really well sculpted. 
lean from the back. I'm not sure what it is, but to me, I mean, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think, but it just, something about it just screams Bruce Banner Hulk, not Thunderbolt Ross Hulk. I, it, there's just, maybe it's the nose. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure. Leave a comment. And while you're down there, like and subscribe. Even the texturing... And design of the pants is very realistic yet comic accurate you can see it's got some denim texture to it as well as the stretching and the rips which come off the leg and they are a nice touch there you got some tears and then his feet with his toes toenails are even a different color as well as fingernails just giving them a different distinction from the rest of the red on him now let's check his articulation he's got the basic marvel legends articulation his shoulders have a good range of motion they have not quite the butterfly because they wanted to keep the design of the chest but they you know they sacrificed the back more so that he would have more range of motion with the shoulders there in the in the butterfly style oh look at that scratch that's too bad anyway <clears throat> he's got a nice range of motion i think he's built like a baf in that way you see they don't go up very high um, unless you move them back and then they can flying hulk Rawr. that's actually pretty decent range of motion when you move them back outside of his shoulder muscles there where it dips down and catches right there uh, the bicep moves around apparently freely of the elbow so Aim on this one. The elbow moves up and down like it should, of course. So it looks, uh, they tried to put some veiny molding on the inside of the elbow right there. Same on that side. That's cool. So when its arms are down, which I doubt they will be often. And then typical wrist back and forth back and forth legs actually got some pretty decent range of motion with his legs sitting hulk his knees not so much that's about as far as they go as you can see they get up right about there with all the material a little bit more there still not too much but he's a Hulk figure so don't expect him to be overly flexible uh, chest you can look down menacing on a figure or if he's jumping you can definitely his arms back in a nice jumping pose ankles actually much looser than a lot of the other figures I've had uh, but not overly loose so they look natural because they look like the comics when Hulk's jumping or flying through the air after being hit by Thanos or whatever. So, and he's really a stable figure. I haven't had to use any of the blue tack or anything to keep him down. It's really heavy, so he just plants on his feet and stays put. And of course, he's got waist. 
which never turns out well because well you got that going on but it's still good to have you know if you use it minimally you still look good in most poses red hulk is a massive heavy solid figure and i think he will look good in any collection on any display his range of articulation will make him easily posable for your displays for action figure photography with him and other characters such as the another Hulk or maybe the Abomination BAF to reenact comic scenes that you like or create your own scenes, of course. The Red Hulk figure actually turned out a lot better than I thought he would online when I first saw the images. I just thought it would be another big hunk of red plastic, but I actually enjoyed the figure. He's well designed, well sculpted, the articulation is great. Uh, they really it seems like the designers really thought about the hulk instead of just another marvel legends figure when they were designing him and his articulation as far as the chest his arm movements backwards even his, uh, his biceps and of course how they frayed and separated the bottom of the pants so there we have it based on you know my experience i would highly recommend this figure uh, so if you do see happen to see him on your shelves pick him up He's clearly selling out quickly. There was only the one when I found it. I haven't seen him since, didn't see him before. Uh, I know a lot of other people are still hunting him down. Uh, he's a fun figure. Don't leave him in the box. Open him up, move him around, display him. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe down below. Share with your friends and your other groups uh, throughout the community. Also follow me on Instagram. I post there daily, multiple times a day. Uh, also my Facebook page for the Collector's Horde. And as always, thank you all for your continued support and comments. Again, please leave a comment below what you think of my videos, how I can improve, what you think of the figure that I'm going, what figures you'd like me to see. If I have them, I'll do them. As always, I'm Tony, this is Collective Horde. Until next time.